with deficits falling from 9.7% of GDP in 2020 to 4.7% of GDP in 2022. Inflation surprises help initially, but this effect cannot endure. Once inflation becomes broad-based and persistent, inflation expectations catch up. High and volatile inflation makes credit more expensive and its costs less predictable. In the context of high inflation, high debt, rising interest rates and elevated uncertainty, consistency between monetary and fiscal policy is paramount for economic and financial stability. In most countries, this means staying the budget on its tightening course. Prioritizing macroeconomic and financial stability after decades of a reduction in extreme poverty. Extreme poverty has increased in the world and it is projected to stay well above the pre-pandemic uh, expected path uh, going forward. That is a very uh, concerning uh, development. Together with that, we have that food insecurity has increased uh, significantly, as has the number of people that suffer from undernourishment. So the issue of nutrition and food security are uh, crucial and uh, priority uh, goals. As you rightly emphasized, in this group of countries, budget resources, financing resources are scarce. But it's in the nature of the political and policy trade-offs that policymakers face that food security and nutrition have to be given uh, priority. Taxes, custom duties, and energy subsidies. Some of these measures have been necessary to face the urgency of the crisis. Africa is suffering uh, a set of uh, uh, unprecedented shocks that are creating a massive setback on uh, economic development, but also especially on uh, um, uh, creating a food crisis and uh, rising uh, poverty. So we had seen a significant improvement uh, in many areas pre-pandemic, but in the recent years, many of these trends have reverted. So what we are seeing now is, for example, according to estimates by the World Bank, uh, 11 million more people will be enter extreme poverty now than what would have been expected under uh, pre-pandemic trends. The food crisis, as Vitor already mentioned, has had a devastating effect in Africa. Some estimates indicate that more than 120 million people in Africa alone uh, are uh, uh, suffering from food insecurity. They don't have enough to eat. So this is a very, very serious situation and governments are facing extremely difficult trade-offs. Maybe I can take. So more generally, as I mentioned, governments are facing a very difficult environment. The fiscal monitor emphasizes the need to be prepared, including by having a broad-based and fair tax system that in our view could well include taxation of rents taxation of excess profits, but also a flexible, comprehensive, and scalable social security system that could be adapted to circumstances like those that countries are facing right now with the energy and food crisis. So I do think that, the, that fiscal policy has a central role to play in politics and social cohesion and has also a central role to play in terms of the social contract.